Alright guys, um, here I'm going to show my original web server. Right now it's not really serving up websites, it's just doing some services locally. Um, I do have it, some of that stuff ported out though so I can do look at it. But it's not for serving websites for other people because it's not super fast. This is basically it. It's a, an old Dell Mini 9 that's just hacked together. I bought it with some broken parts, like a bad keyboard and it has a... Um, I had a broken SSD so I bought a 8 gig SSD for this thing for like 15 bucks. It has three USB slots. I'm using two of them right now. One for a webcam, a USB webcam, and one for a printer and scanner. Um, that's basically it. Uh, the specs of this thing, it's an N270 processor. That's the weakest Atom, you can, um, Atom processor you can get. It has two gigs of RAM, and it has um, eight gigabyte SSD for its main drive. Um, services is running is uh, ZoneMinder, which is a webcam surveillance program. It's running um, Cups, which is a uh, printing program that you can print from Mac, Windows, Linux from. Uh, it's also running a little scanning um, web server thing, like a web page you can scan from. And that's just web-based, so any operating system works. Um, so this offers up wireless printing and scanning uh, for the house. It also is running Mumble, which is like a gaming talk server. It's like it's kind of like Ventrilo, but it's just uh, open source. It's um, better latency. It's better for gaming, and it has um, way more options as well. So yeah, that's my server right there. It has uh, the two USBs going to the hallway. Yeah, so one of the USBs goes to this USB webcam right there, which I'll show in a minute on ZoneMinder. That just views people going in and out of my room. I do have a lock on my room now, which I added once I put the servers in there. The other one goes to this um, printer-scanner combo. So um, basically people can wirelessly print and scan from this thing. You just have to add the printer. What's cool about Cups is it's actually sending out the printer and it, you can even use your local driver for it instead of like IPP protocol. It's um, So you can get better um, quality and more options using that. Okay, well let me show the webcam server. This is uh, ZoneMinder. This is what's running on there. I only have a single webcam, but it's actually taking up a lot of load just from that one webcam um, because it's a crappy processor. And it's going through every single frame and checking for movement. It's at 43% uh, load. Um, let me check. Here's a live view of it. So you can see that's it's pretty good quality, 640 by 480. Um, and I can just check this whenever I want. What's better is you can it can check motion and get events. These are all events. These are all times it saw motion. And let me show a timeline. It takes a while because the MySQL database on that little SSD is super slow. It's a crappy SSD, the ones they have in netbooks. Um, yeah, you can see like kind of a pattern. And you can even go over this and see like what happened. Uh, you can see a pattern of when I'm awake and asleep and when people are going through that hallway and not, which is pretty cool to track stuff. Um, not every single like time I have motion is, is saved here because all the ones that were maybe 20 days or more ago were deleted. So that's a thing that you need to set up is there's a way to set it up so that it deletes the older files. Otherwise your disk would get to 100% and it'd be slow to write it because you'd have to delete one every time. You can set it up so it deletes at a lower rate. So I have it around the high 70s. It'll start deleting the older files as it's, as it's making new ones. So yeah, that's the uh, timeline view. Um, show the events. Here's the cool part about zone minders. You can set up these zones. So you can draw out these things. So if people walk through this hallway or open this door, my zone won't be at alarm. So I only get alarm when people are going in my room. So um, this is an awesome feature of zone minder. It's a very integrated program, even though it's like a big open source program. Um, it's very integrated compared to other stuff I've run. I used to run Motion, which isn't nearly. There's you have to script a lot of the stuff yourself. So yeah, uh, the printer, you basically, here's instructions, but basically you add it. And once you've added it to a computer, it's done. Um, let me actually just go in Chrome.
Yeah. Here's the um, here's the little scanning application. So just like a web PHP or a CGI script that runs the scanning stuff. Here's a bunch of scanning options. You click scan, it scans it. Um, you can click on recent scans, or you can download the one you just did, or delete it, or print it. Yeah, so um, it's all web-based, so you don't need a driver for it or anything, and all the options are there, so it's fine. It, it works really well. What I did experiment with recently and got working was um, passing the IP to here. So if you, if I try to get to this website from my phone and I'm not hooked up to Wi-Fi, or if I get to try to get to it from school, it's not going to let me into the scanning page, so no one can just go in and start clicking scan and ruining my scanner or wasting scans. Um, so I set that up on my server and I'll have information in the link uh, below. I'll probably have two links, one for the printing and scanning and one for the zone minder. So click the printing and scanning one, it'll show how to do it. You can use that theory or you can use the, that information basically to password protect any site, any Apache website. So yeah, if you're local, you can get to the site just fine. But if you're not hooked up to local Wi-Fi, you cannot scan, which makes sense because you have to be at the scanner anyway, usually. Um, so yeah, that is my scanning server and everything running on my little netbook web server. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I'll see you guys later.